Hey, this is Sharif Musarillo with Unique Threads. Today we're gonna to talk about vanity sizing. Okay, you may be wondering what that is. Before we jump into it, um, I first wanna let everyone know, um, please, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel, Unique Threads. Um, please share it, tag it, um, and, and, and pass it along to your friends, family members, colleagues. Um, what we want to do with this platform is to educate people, so to provide them with information that will help them pass that on to the next person. Um, and, and it's also good for personal development. Back to the topic of vanity sizing. You may be wondering, what is vanity sizing? Um, for the longest time, I, I didn't quite understand what that term meant. It wasn't until I uh, got into men's fashion and bespoke clothing that I really understood the true meaning of vanity sizing. I will say it's important in men's fashion because it's important to know your individual measurements and your body shape and size. All of that is key and critical for a bespoke suit. So for bespoke suits, um, typically you'll take at least 25 different measurements um, and those include measurements around your neck, around your chest, along the arch of your back, your biceps, your wrist, your stomach, your waist. I mean, everything you can think of from head to toe. And all of these are critical to ensure that you have a perfectly fit um, bespoke suit. So back to the subject of vanity. So assigning a smaller size to an article of clothing than is really the case. So that 32 pants, waist that I grabbed off the rack is not actually my true waist size. My true waist size is a 35 and a half. And for example, pant length. The pant length that I grabbed off the rack that's a 33. Well, my true pant length is actually a 35. So there you have it. Spoiler alert. Um, you've been lied to this entire time, your whole life. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. But yeah, it's very interesting. I mean, I mean, this is something that I did not know at all until I explored, uh, got into men's fashion. Um, and, and it's very interesting to, to understand the kind of the psychology of it. it. It's very interesting. And I think, you know, it's less relevant to, to men um, and, and probably more relevant to, to women, but it is very interesting. And uh, a lot of people, I mean, if you just think about it, take a step back and think about it. So for me, example, I've been wearing a 32 since I was in, I would say undergraduate. So that's a long time ago. That's probably like 15 years ago. Uh, and I've been wearing a 32 th th this entire time. So the odds that over the last 15 years, my waist size has not changed at all, very, very, very slim. So um, what, what, what studies have shown as well is the 32 that I wore in undergraduate is probably not the same 32 that I'm wearing now. So brands and companies will even change a 32. Um, a 32 15 years ago is not the same 32 in 2020. So that's very interesting. It's very, it's very interesting to learn about the psychology and how brands um, take into account size and measurements. Um, so there's this whole, this, this whole, air, this, this world of vanity sizing, which is very interesting to me. Um, it's always a subject of conversation when I do my personal fittings. Um, I, like I said, I'll have uh, clients come in and they'll take a look. Um, so I have clients come in and I'll measure them. I'll do all of their measurements. Um, and, and it's always when I get to that waist measurement, you'll see the question, um, what is my waist size? And typically what I tell my clients is, your true waist size is usually two to three inches bigger than your actual, you know, the waist size from a pant that you might get from Banana Republic or The Gap. So just add two inches to the waist. So that's why I recommend uh, all my, and I'm a little biased, don't get me wrong, I'm a little biased, but this is why I recommend um, bespoke suits because bespoke suits take into account the individual's measurement. So I, when I asked before, my question was, what is vanity sizing and why is it important? Well, the why is that um, if you want something that fits you just right, then the way to go would be to go custom. And bespoke suits 
on a spectrum of fitted from least fitted to most fitted, right here is probably, um, this right here at the end will be bespoke suits. And on this end, you'll have uh, a ready to wear. Um, so something that's off the rack. And then in between you have varying degrees. You also have something called made to measure. So made to measure would fall somewhere in between the middle, maybe closer to bespoke, but made to measure essentially is you have a suit that's been produced, manufactured, and what you do is you alter the suit. So you alter the suit so that the suit fits you perfectly. Um, the alter alterations could be very, very simple, um, like lengthening, lengthening the sleeve on your jacket, or it could be taking in your jacket so that it, you can see uh, more of the contour. Um, it could be slimming the pants. So that's made to measure. So I just wanted to educate you all on the differences uh, between kind of the ready to wear, off the rack, made to measure, and then like I said, the holy grail, the bespoke suit. And that's why I encourage all my clients is just to do your research.